What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp Essentials tutorial for you. So if you remember last week, we talked about using scenes to create fly-through animations in SketchUp. This week we're going to talk about using section cuts. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so a section cut is basically, if you have geometry in your model, it's basically a cut through view of that geometry. Like for example, if I have a box like this and I add a section plane or a section cut to it, it's going to give me a cut through view of that geometry. So it's basically taking that view and saying at this point, don't show any geometry behind this so that you can come in here and you can see kind of what's inside this geometry. So everything beyond this plane right here, the section plane, it's not showing anymore. So in order to add a section plane, you kind of saw me do it right there, but you're going to go up to tools, you're going to select section plane. And then as you can see, when you bring that in, this, uh, this adds kind of this box with four arrows on it. And basically what it is, is it's a box showing where the plane's going to be. And then it's got four arrows showing you what direction that it's facing. So you can tell that when I put my uh, mouse on this plane, it's going to give me a section facing to the left. And if I put it on the, if I put it on this face, then it's going to give me a section going to the right. Well, more along the green axis right here. But you can see how this uh, tries to inference to different faces, and you can see how when it turns colors, um, that means it's aligned with a certain axis. So, like for example, if this face right here. If I wanted to do a section through that, it's going to turn this kind of pinkish purplish color. And that's because it's locked to this face as opposed to being locked to an axis just like this. So you can kind of see what face this is along when you're doing this. So the other thing you can do is you can use the arrow keys just like you can with anything else to lock your inferencing. So like let's say I wanted this to be a red section along this face, but I didn't want to have my mouse on this face, you could just tap the right arrow key and then click and that'll give me a section along the red axis. So a couple different things about this real quick. When you're working with section planes, there's two options in your view that you need to know about. The first is section planes itself. So if I come in here and I turn section planes off, you're going to have the section view or the section cut of your model, but you're not going to be able to see the plane. So you can turn that on and off so you can see these planes. So that's going to get a little more important a little bit later. But for right now, the other option that you need to know about is the section cuts option. So the section cuts means it basically tells SketchUp, yes, we want to do sections in your model. So you can come in here if you have a whole bunch of these or if you don't want this active at any given time, you can turn off section cuts. You can also turn off section planes and then you can work in your model like they're not even there. Um, and those options get stored in your scenes. So if you have a new scene, for example, you can see how active section planes right here is an option that you can save. So anyway, you're going to want to make sure that both section planes and section cuts are turned on in your model for this example. So one thing you're going to notice in here is you can click on this section plane and use the move tool to move it around. So you can adjust the way that this sections things. And to do that, you're just going to click on your plane itself um, along the border of it. And then you can use the move tool to move that around. You can also use tools like the rotate tool. If you want this section to rotate, you can use the rotate tool to adjust where that plane is. So you can do some interesting things with that. So you, you can treat these a lot like other geometry in here. Obviously options like scale and stuff like that aren't really gonna apply, but there's definitely a lot of options in here. So you just move that around uh, the way that you wanna move it. And it doesn't really matter if you move it up and down because this is basically giving you a section um, infinitely up and down this way. So it's going to cut everything in your model in this direction. So it doesn't really matter. This is basically just going to create a box around the geometry in your model. So if I draw a face right here, you can see how this just expanded the section plane in order to pick that face up as well. So the next thing we're going to want to talk about with section planes is if you right click on it, it gives you a bunch of different options. And some of these are plug-in options because I have different uh, different uh, extensions installed in here that kind of affect some of these things. But I just want to talk about a couple of the options in here. The first is the reverse option. So the reverse option is going to be really important if you um, set a plane and uh, you've got it facing in the wrong direction. 
So like, for example, with this box, initially it's facing this way when I add my, uh, when I add my section plane, but if I want it to face the other direction, it's really easy. You just right click on it and click reverse. So you can use that to flip different section planes in your model if you want to do that. So the next thing that's going to be really important is this active cut option. So as long as this active cut option, that means that this is the active section plane in your model. And this gets really important when you have multiple planes in your model. So you can see when I uncheck that, then the section isn't working anymore. So if you right click on it and select active cut, then that means that this plane is going to be the active cut in your model. And uh, I'll give you a quick example of that. So. Like let's say for example, my box here was a lot longer. So let's say that this was a longer piece just like this and that I added a second section plane in here to cut the face further back like this. So now I've got two different section planes in my model. The active cut is gonna determine which one is active. They can't both be active. You can only have one section plane active at a time. So the active cut is gonna determine which one is active at any given time, just like it sounds. So you can right click on this and click active and this is going to get really important when you start dealing with construction animations. Um, the reason for that, and I'll show you right now, is that SketchUp animates the transition between section cuts and scenes. So like for example, if I go to view animation and I add a scene, so your styles contain your section options in here. So basically your style contains whether or not section planes are visible, whether or not section planes are active, stuff like that. In this case, I'm just gonna say update the selected style for right now, but a lot of that section information gets stored in the actual whatever your active style is. So anyway, if I create a scene with this section plane active, and then I right click and I make this section plane active and I add a new scene just like this, so now I've got two scenes in here in the model. Well, what SketchUp does is it will animate between your two section cuts. So in scene one, this cut is active. In scene two, this cut is active. And what it does is it creates that smooth transition between the two different section cuts. We're gonna use that more next week in our video about creating construction animations. But for right now, it's just kind of enough to know that there is an animation option between your sections and that allows a lot of interesting things. So one other thing I wanna talk about in your, um, in your options down here is align view. So if you right click on a section plane and you click align view, what that's gonna do is that's gonna take your camera angle and it's going to put it straight on to whatever your section is and so you can see what this does is this gives you a front view of your section like this so if you wanted to create kind of an elevation of a building with a section cut or something like that you could do it this way um, and this is going to get really powerful if you couple this with turning off perspective in your model because remember with perspective what that means is your view goes towards a vanishing point so when you look, if you draw a line along the red axis like this and you were to draw another one right here, they would all go towards a vanishing point in the back up off the horizon over here. But if you don't want it to do that, there's also, see now if I turn perspective off, then there's no longer any vanishing points. And so it just changes the way that this looks. But what that's good for is if I use a line view right here, that'll give me a straight on section view of my object. So then you could take that and uh, you could export that to like layout or you could just print it. It'll give you like a straight on section view without all the perspective in there. So remember that's just camera and just uncheck perspective. So coupling those two things gets really powerful. Um, and then finally, there was an option in here that I didn't even know SketchUp had. There's an option called create group from slice. So when you select create group from slice, like this, what that's going to do is that's going to take, if I turn this back off, that's going to take the geometry in your slice right here and it's going to create a group. So you can see how this came in here and that basically took the, uh, that took the uh, geometry in here that's created by the slice and it put it in its own group. So you've got a new set of this geometry over here which is pretty cool. You could then come in here, you could move it off to the side. And then uh, if you wanted to just model something flat in here or whatever, um, it just gives you a lot of different options of things that you can do. So that option is definitely there. All right, so now I wanna get into more of a concrete example of how you could use section planes. So this is the house that we used last week. I got it from the 3D warehouse um, that uh, 
we used for our animations example. Well, now I want to come in here and I want to create some section cuts on this house. So the way that's going to work is I'm going to come in here, same way I did before, just select section plane. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to inference this. I'm going to use my arrow keys to lock this to the red axis and then I'm just going to click on the house just like this. You can see what that does is that comes through and that gives us a section cut through this whole, whole house. And uh, this, is, this is actually a pretty cool model because it looks like the back, the back faces in here are more of a darker color. And so what that does is that makes this that makes this section plane look a lot better. And there's a couple tricks that you can use to do something like that that I'll talk about in a future video. But for right now, what you can do is you can create this section cut in here. You can turn off perspective just like this, and then you can align your view. And so what this gives you is this gives you a great section cut of your model. And so now what we're gonna do is we'll just turn off section planes and leave section cuts on. And so you've got this cool image right here that then you're gonna save using an animation. So you're gonna go to view, animation, add scene. And so what you can do is you can come in here and you can label your animation. So let's call this side of house cut. So you can see how that adjusts this view in your tabs up here. Well then you can come in here, you can turn section planes back on if you want to. And you can add a second section cut by going coming in here, going to tools, locking this to the green axis, and you can create a section cut that goes through the house the house the other way. And then you can use the move tool to kind of move this so you get what you want to get in here. So let's say you wanted a view right here that just shows these views. You can come in here and you can create this front cut in here and then do the same thing. Turn section planes off so this is nice and clean. Move this around so you have the view that you want and then just add a new animation. And you could call this front of house cut. And you could do this for as many different section views as you want. And then if you wanted another view that didn't have any section cuts at all. So you could come in here, you could turn your section planes off so that you don't have any active cuts right now. And then you could hide section planes, turn perspective back on so that it's more of a perspective view in here and then just add a new scene. So all of those view options are saved in here. So now you can call this one perspective And so now you can just flip really quickly between these different scenes. So you can go between this section cut right here, your front of house cut right here, and you can see how this kind of smoothly animated between those. And we're going to use that a little more next week. But then if you just want an exterior of the house, you can just create a view where you don't have any sections and sections are just turned off. You know, one, one of the things that can save you a whole lot of time in SketchUp is saving different views uh, depending on what you need. So having one where sections are completely off and you can just fly around your building. And then uh, if you want to jump into that section, you can just go back to the view that you saved. So um, I've seen models up here with 75 different views in here, but they're a huge time saver because you need them all for different things. And uh, that way you can save everything that you need. So, and then one, one other thing about this is if you decide that you want a different section plane in here. So if you wanted a new section plane that cuts further through your house, like over here, and you wanted this, your side of house cut to reflect that, then all you would have to do is just make that your active, make that your active cut. So instead of having this your active cut, just right click in here, select active cut, and then align your view. So then align your view, turn your section planes back off, and just right click on this and click update. And so just remember, all this is gonna do is this is gonna come in here and whatever section cut is active at the time is what'll get stored in this animation. So you can change the cut that you have active, right click on it and then update it in order to, uh, in order to adjust what your view is in that, in that section cut. So 
Next week, we're going to talk about using all this stuff to create moving construction animations. So uh, I wanted to get to it this week. This just, this just got a little bit long. So um, we'll get into that next week. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Are you doing stuff like this? Do you find it helpful? Are there any tips and tricks that you like about this? I love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. So make sure to leave a comment below. If you like this video, remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you really like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month, to help me just keep bringing you great SketchUp content. So in any case, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.